Hey guys, congratulations, you got a new iPhone for Christmas and you want to take your old iPhone and all of its data and move it to your new iPhone so you can go play and have fun and enjoy the new present. But guess what? It's not going to be that easy. Well, maybe. After the euphoria and bliss fades from receiving the phone comes the hard part, actually taking the original phone and moving all of its data over to the new phone. It can prove to be a little challenging, and Apple hasn't really gone out of their way to make it easy for us to do it. I know it's usually based on protection and security, but it's really kind of an arduous process, and it's a pain in the butt. Before you throw in the towel and you give up, let's just approach this systematically. We're going to make some assumptions that this transfer is being performed on a Mac. It's not required, but it's the method I'm using. The phone iOS is not up to date, meaning the existing current phone. It's not backed up, and it's totally full, and there's no memory. That's how my teens roll. We are using the restore from computer backup, and we are not going to use the iCloud backup method. So that's how we're going to do this today, and hopefully, if you guys are doing the same thing, this process will help you guys out. Before we get going, we need to do a little preparation. We need to collect some information. We need to prepare the old phone and prepare the new phone, and then we can finally make the transfer. So the information that you need to gather before you get started is you want the password for the old phone, meaning the person who hands you their phone and says, hey, will you transfer this for me? Get that password for that phone so you're not having to ask them three times, hey, what's the password? What's the password? Write it down. I write down the passwords. No, it's not a secure thing to do. But when you're done, just go ahead and grind it up in the paper shredder. You also need the iCloud or Apple ID. You need the computer administrator password the computer that you're working on. If it's not yours, make sure that you have the administrator password because there's times when you might have to allow changes. You may also want any passwords that would be associated with the old phone's backup if there are any existing. To prepare the old phone, you want to check the iOS version. If it's not the current version, then it needs to be updated. But if your phone is full and has no space, then it's going to be impossible to update to the new iOS version because you can't download it. So you need to make some space. The easiest way to do that is to plug in your iPhone, go to Photos, and then download some pictures off of the iPhone so you're, in essence, backing them up, and then go back to the iPhone and delete the pictures that you just downloaded. You need to free up around one gigabyte of free space. Once you have the free space on the phone, you can update the iOS. You simply do that by going into the phone, hitting the Settings icon, going into the Settings, and choose Software Update, and it should tell you that you are not functioning on the latest version, and you can go ahead and say update. It'll take a little while and the phone will turn on and off several times during this process. Don't sweat it, just go get a cup of coffee and come back. Now that the phone's ready with the proper iOS and the photos are backed up, you can connect your phone to the computer. Now remember, we're assuming this is the first time that this phone is being connected to this computer. So when iTunes comes up, it's not going to recognize the phone. So it's gonna ask you to choose one of two things. Do you wanna set it up as a new phone or do you wanna restore from backup? do not restore from a backup. You want to set it up as a new phone. And don't worry, it's not going to set and blank your phone. It's going to just set it up as a new recognized device. You may have to enter a password or authorize something during this process, so that's a good reason to have all those passwords handy. Once your phone is connected to iTunes and everything is being recognized, in the below section called backups, you want to choose this computer, and you also want to choose encrypt the iPhone backup. A pop-up window will occur and it will ask for a password. Enter an easy password to remember for yourself. And then also check remember this password in my keychain. That way moving forward when you're doing anything regarding this backup, your computer will autofill the password and you won't even have to remember it again. Now that your old phone is all set and backed up, you're almost finished with it. You need to go ahead and pull the SIM card out of that phone. It's important to have a SIM card in the new phone before you hook it up to your computer because the computer won't allow you to move forward unless it has a SIM card. It'll just give you a message that says, no SIM card. So taking the SIM card out of the old phone and putting it into the new phone is pretty easy. You take a paper clip and there's a side trap door and you push in with the paper clip and eject the SIM card and it comes out in a little tray. You put that over into the new phone. Now, if your new phone already has a SIM card, you don't have to do this step. Then you connect your new phone to the computer and it will also say, hey, I don't recognize this phone, and you just say, set it up as a new phone, just like you did before. 
Then you have to enter a few passwords and if prompted, update the iOS and the carrier settings for the new phone as well. Once the new phone is connected and everything is up to date and the iOS is up to date, you then will go down below in that backup section and say restore backup. And that will prompt you into a restoration process for this phone and it'll say what backup do you want to use? And you would choose the latest backup that you just made of your old phone. At this point, the computer will take over and start putting the data from your old phone onto your new phone and this will take maybe 15 to 20 minutes. Once your new phone is backed up, it will also sit for a while and update apps and restore itself so you'll see some things happening on the screen that will take a little bit of time. Once your phone seems like it's back to normal, you're going to want to just double check that your location services, find my iPhone, password keychain, you know, all the basic things are back up and running and activated. Um, this process isn't going to be perfect. You guys are going to run into something that obviously I haven't mentioned or didn't think about. So any problems that you run into, feel free to drop a comment below and I'll do my best to respond back with uh, something coherent that would make sense and help you out. But I hope this helped you guys because I had to do this for five phones and every single time it seemed like I hit a new roadblock or some problem. But I tried to be as comprehensive as I could to say, hey, if I were to do this process over again, what would be the steps and how would I avoid all the issues that I had? So hopefully this helps you out. And if you guys like it, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more stuff like this, just let me know and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And fishing fans, I will do some fishing videos. Don't worry. It's just too cold right now for me.